Um, Zenio is a new service provided through Clevenet, and um, we're really excited about it because it offers our patrons one over 100 digital magazine subscriptions from the convenience of their home. Um, so you can download it onto your iPad, your digital device, your phone. So if you are in the doctor's office, you can, you know, easily have access to your own magazines instead of, you know, trying to find one there in the office. So today we'll go through that process and it's just a wonderful service that was just added through Clevenet. And this is free. This is, there is no charge to library patrons to use this service. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about the six libraries that work together in the county, which are Andover, Conneaut, Harbor Topke, Henderson Memorial Public Library, Kingsville, and Rock Creek. I think I got them all. <laughs> <laughs> so there okay. are a lot of benefits to us joining Clevenet, and this is just one of the extras that we can offer to our patrons now. So the easiest way to access, and I'm just using our website as the example. Um, so I'm on the Kingsville Public Library website. And it is www.kingsville.lib.oah.us, um, or you can just Google Kingsville Public Library and it'll come up. And we have two links currently on the website where you can find Zinio, the digital magazines, and here is one of them. And there's another here in the middle of the page. And there are actually downloading instructions that someone could click on. So before you even get started, if you wanted to, you could print out these downloading instructions. And they'll be quite helpful. All right, so I'm going to close that back down. So if you just want to click on one of the Zinio links here, it'll take you to Recorded Books. And Recorded Books is the vendor um, who provides the magazines to Clevenet. So they're the ones who provide the service. So um, when you go to this, you'll see it'll say the library name and um, you can log in, you know, if you're with Kanye mm -hmm. Public Library, it'll say Kanye Public Library across the top. Once you log in with your card, it knows which library is your home library. Um, but remember, you can use um, any card from the six of those libraries at any six you know locations so it makes it really easy so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna log in with Bob's card right because <laughs> we're gonna set up your account so I might have to ask you to come and sit and fill in your okay. information so we are gonna create a new account and you're gonna need to create an account on um, the Recorded Books website. Remember, they're the provider of the magazine to, um, to the library so we can check out these items. So it, there's up here at the top, there's Create New Account. So you'd click that and you will need your library card. So again, you need your library card from either uh, Andover, Conneaut, Harbor Topkey, Henderson, Kingsville, or Rock Creek. Now, now where are you starting from that you create the account? Um, we can go back. So we started here at our website. Okay. And we, the library website. The library website. Always start at the library website. Um, and there's a Zinio here, and we also have it listed down here. So anywhere you see this blue icon, that looks like a Z. And we can click here in the upper right. Again, it says create new account. So we typed in our, our, our name and our library card number and our passwords. And now we're in. And it'll say welcome. And I made something up there. So it's welcoming us into our account. And now you can see on the front page, they'll have many magazine covers for you to look at. So this is one way. You could just browse through the different covers. And down here on the bottom, there is a next button. You can see there's many pages of magazines. There's over a hundred subscriptions here. Um, so you have like Diabetic Living, you have Discover. This is a really popular one, this Rachel Ray Every Day. There's Esquire, of course, the favorite of all the men. Uh, Family Circle. We just looked at Ellery Queen. So there is just everything here um, from, you know, woodworking to uh, health and fitness. If you'd like to just type in a title, let's say you have a favorite magazine and you'd like to type that in, um, we could put in 
National Geographic. I just typed in National and you can see two came up. They have National Geographic Interactive and they have National Geographic Traveler. So we can click on that. So um, another way to search as well is if you are just clicking in this search area, it will list them all alphabetically, which makes it nice and easy. That way you can see all of the selections. So you can see they have Baseball America, Beer Connoisseur Magazine, Car and Driver, and then um, Country Garden. So you can just go down the list. So if you'd like to check out this magazine, there's a little spot here and it says check out now and you can click on that. And if you'd like, you could keep browsing or you could start reading this magazine. Um, if you'd like to keep browsing, you can click this and it'll put this magazine in your shopping cart so it'll be there when you're ready to start reading. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to click start reading. And because this is our first time, we'll need to set up our Zinio account. And Zinio is the, um, the place where we have the application, the app that you can use on your digital device and um, they're the ones who are uh, providing us with this magazine. So what I'm going to do is I'm so going to... You have to create two accounts, one from the library and one from Zinio. Correct. And once you've done that once, then you're set to go. Right, right. You only have to create those accounts once. You can use the same password if you'd like to. Um, that's fine, because I know a lot of people don't like to remember a whole bunch of passwords. Remember to write down your password in a safe place. We'll see if I can type it in correctly. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to hit register. All right, so now we're at this point where we have um, set up our two accounts and now we're on Zinio and we have our magazine and at this point you could start reading this. Um, you don't have to have a digital device. It's not necessary to use this service, which is wonderful. Um, so what you can do to start reading is you just click on that magazine. So it's loading the magazine. It just takes a few seconds. And the first time you open up a magazine, um, they kind of know we're new. So what they'll do is they'll give you a little um, orientation here on the left-hand side. And they'll show you what all these tools along the bottom mean. And don't be afraid to click around because you're not going to break anything, you're not going to hurt anything. You can always go back to your magazine um, by clicking the full screen button. Uh, if you'd like to turn a page, there's a next button. We could look at all of the pages in the magazine, kind of like thumbnails, to see if something uh, we're looking for a certain article. Um, like that looks really cool, they're skydiving, so then we could just click on that page and it'll open it up. To the page that we were looking for. So you can click this button here and it'll take us back to the table of contents so click we can the see. Or point to the button again. This one here okay. is table of contents. Okay. It has a few dots and lines next to it and then here you can see the table of contents. Alrighty. National Geographic um, is interactive. There are uh, videos embedded in this magazine so as you're looking at it on the computer um, you will find that there will be different videos. Now if you do have a digital device um, what you'll have to do is you'll need to load the Zinio application, the Zinio app on your digital device and you can find that you know in the Google Play Store or you know wherever you get your free applications it's a free app that you can choose and I have one on my tablet here. Um, let's go back. And again, it has that blue Z. It, let's see if we can find that easily. So it'll look like this. It has a blue Z and it says Zinio. And you'll go into your Play Store and you'll download that application and then you'll see it, you know, in your, on your tablet. And that's it opening up. And it takes a moment. Um, but your digital device will sync with your, you know, your account online. Uh, so what you need to do is you just open it up and when you have it, you can see this magazine right here is actually downloading right now. So it'll tell you that the magazine is here, but it needs to be downloaded and you'll see the blue line 
as it downloads. And that's going to take just a few minutes. I think I have Diabetic Living already downloaded on my tablet. And this is where I left off the other day, so it saved my page. And one of the most important things about the tablets is um, the setting that you want for Zinio. So when I click on Zinio, I actually go to my library and it shows me all of my magazines. Because I'm using the library service, I'm not paying for these magazines through the Zinio app. So in your settings, somewhere on your tablet, you should have um, your settings. And mine are in the upper right hand corner. And if you need help with this, just stop in the library and we'll help you with this. But you can set your application home screen. So when you open up that app, you see what you want to see. So I want to see my library. Um, so I... Okay. If you don't have it set to your library, when you open up Zinio, it's going to show you um, magazines that are available, but they'll have prices attached to them and um, you don't need to pay for these magazines. That's why we use the library website to access this. Um, but if you were to go through it this way in the shop setting, um, it will show you that magazines, the cost is $6.99 per issue or you know $3.99 for PC World. Um, so we don't want our patrons to be confused. You, you do not have to pay for this service. It's provided by the library. So I will go back to my settings and set my home screen just to my library and press OK. And this will work on a smartphone, iPad, you know, Android based tablet. Um, it's pretty flexible. Kindle Fire, it'll work on a Kindle Fire as well. You don't want to use the Zinio application to get your magazines in your library. Um, it's just because like. They're going to ask you to pay for it. They're going to ask you to pay for it. It's just like if you were to have um, an Amazon. Uh, account and have a Kindle, you wouldn't want to go directly to Amazon. You would want to go through the library's website to get to the ebooks. So it's the same concept as that. To get the free items, you need to go to the library's website first. So I'm logged in now and I can pick any of my magazines. So let's pick Baseball America. And let's also pick, let's pick another one. Let's see. And I hit check out at the bottom. This time I'm going to keep browsing. Okay, we'll try something new. We'll keep browsing. And here we'll go back to our titles and I'll look at them alphabetically this time. And let's pick Bicycling Magazine. And I'm going to hit check out. And now I have two magazines that I want to start reading. And now it's showing us our library here. So National Geographic we added first, and now we've added both of these magazines here. And we can start reading them at this point on, on our Zinio account. Now, when you um, put your Zinio app on your device, remember you're going to have to download that magazine onto your device. And it's important to know that the magazines will always stay in your Zinio account. They never expire. There, there's no due dates, there's no fines, and they never expire. Now on your tablet though, you probably only have so much memory and so much space, so you may want to um, get rid of those old issues, you know, and, and again, if you need help, come in and we'll help you with that. Uh, but what the, you can the do... The first time though, you logged in to create the account, the yes. first time that you want to start reading, you're going to have to create a, an account with Zinio. As Correct. Well. This time it knew that I had an right. account, so it didn't have me do the second step. It it remembered me from the last time. Yeah. So once once you um, go from our library website and you've already created this account, you you're going to click Remember Me, Remember My Password. So you won't have to type in your password every time. It knows that I'm here. And American Craft is really a neat magazine, so I'm going to check that out. Start reading. And when you hit start reading, it's automatically taking you to the Zinio website, and it remembers you and your passcode because you're logged in on your home computer. Okay, now, if you just don't want, you want to read it on your 
digital mobile device. Yes. You can just click out of that and then go into Zinio, and they will be all four of them will be there. All four will be there. Yes, you'll need to you have Wi-Fi to download right. those, right? And they'll start downloading. And let's see if my somehow you I got created a different Google. account there, though, didn't you? I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is my that. personal one. So yeah. <laughs> So the magazines will be a little different, and of course it didn't save my library, so we'll fix that. Here's my library, okay. So 30-minute dinners was downloading when we first started, so we're going to click that, and now it's going to open up the magazine. And I have my thumbnails down here, which I really don't need. <laughs> And now I'm in my magazine, so I can look at them. And some people say, oh my gosh, that's so teeny tiny. How do you read that? Well, it's nice because, you know, on these mm -hmm. digital devices, you can use your hands to make things bigger. And I can look at that great recipe for lemon butter chicken breasts now and plan dinner for the evening, right? <laughs> so we have that. Another neat thing about Zinio is, um, let's say you have a family who's using the same account and someone, you know, decided to edit your reading list. So here's edit your reading list up here on the right, and you can click on that. And now I decided, you know, I, I don't like this magazine. It's, you know, not interesting enough, so I'm going to get rid of it. Or I should have said my kids did that. Mm. They thought the magazine was worthless. So, <laughs> And you can hit done. Um, what's nice, though, is you can actually go here where it says view all titles. You didn't actually lose that magazine. It's in your removed magazines. So even mm. if your kids came in here and wiped out every magazine that you wanted, you could always go back to re view removed. And then it does give you an option to add that back in. So you can edit your reading list. And see how there's a plus sign this time? This time you can add that back in your reading list. So you really can't lose things. It's, it's um, quite user-friendly that way. Can you subscribe to a magazine and just have them dump it in there every month? Or do you have to go in there every month and find your Mac life or whatever? You, you, do, you do need to go in every month and get your new issue for April or May. Um, I have a feeling they're working on that because there was some talk of that when we went through training, but at this point you do need to um, go ahead and, and go in every month and get your new issue. I wish it were a little easier, but it doesn't take much time as you can no, see. It's easier than driving to the newsstand and picking it up. And it's free. <laughs> I mean, that's the best part. You can save so much money by just, you know, using the digital magazines. You can come here to the library. If you don't have a computer at home, please don't feel that you can't use this service because you can come here and, and use our computers and read through your magazines. Um, if you liked a certain page, you can even do a screenshot and print that out, too, so you can save it. Um, I'm sure everyone who has an iPad, they're much more savvy than I am on the iPad, and you can do a screenshot and yeah. then push two buttons. Right, push the two buttons, and then you can save that. If you get something that wants you to pay, that's because you started at the Zinio site instead of starting at the library, going through your library account, and then picking up the yeah, magazine. That's a great point. Yeah. So, yeah, if there's anything you see that says you have to pay, don't pay for anything. Yeah then maybe give us a call and we'll walk you through it on the telephone or, yeah. Because you're, you're paying through the, your library through your taxes right. for the service. Right? That's correct, yeah. Just like we have um, with ClevNet, we have over 75 databases. Um, we have thousands of e-books and for the Kindle. You know, this is off of our website now. There are also um, videos, documentaries, comedies, there are so many um, e-digital, you know, wonderful um, things that you can access today through Clevenet. It's the biggest collection. It's 10 million items. So, you know, go through and, and you know, it, just click through and you'll just find so many neat things. You know, this is, this is not that old of a movie. You know, you don't even have to lose, leave your house now. You just click on there and we can download this movie.